Um, let me just show you a couple more stars. This one is called the Vela Pulsar, and it's magnificent. It's a thousand light years away. It's a highly magnet- magnetized neutron star. Right. It simply means this star exploded into a supernova, and in the case of the Vela Pulsar, it collapsed back on itself in a magnetic entity. And as the pulsar, it began oscillating on its axis. This one oscillates 11 times a second on its axis. And as it is oscillating, you can see what's happening. It's shooting a radio frequency out of itself. And so not only do we have this amazing photograph, but we're determined to hear somebody speaking to us. And so through SETI and other highly advanced um, electromagnetic telescope programs, we're listening to the universe day and night. And I don't know if you know this or not, but when I say we, I mean we as in your tax dollars are paying large sums of money to build radio telescopes that circle the earth to continually listen to see if anybody out there is speaking to us. To date, we have not heard any intelligent life speaking back to us, but we have gotten something for our money because when they aimed the radio telescopes at the Vela Pulsar, this is what they heard. And this is what this guy does 24-7, day and night, 365 days a year. This is what, from a thousand light years away, the Vela Pulsar sounds like right now. This is it. Listen to this. Now, I, I don't know about you, but I, that blew me away. I'm thinking, wow, this is incredible. You're like, well, what does it mean? I don't know. Is that some kind of Morse code for something? Or what, what, what does all that mean? I don't know what it means, but, and I don't want to you know, go too crazy here, but maybe the Vela Pulsar got wind somehow innately of Psalm 148, verse 3, and says, it says, praise him, sun and moon and all you shining stars. We're it's singing. The stars are singing to him. I recently stumbled on 47 Tuck. It's a, a beautiful uh, cluster of stars. We'll show you the picture of it here. It's about um, 16,700 light years away from where we are. And you can see just this brilliant, it looks like a sort of shoved a lot of diamonds together into a pile. It's an um, unbelievable number of stars there. Look at these, they blow up that central place right there. There are 12 of these super giant blue stars in there. But the things that are of interest to us tonight are these millisecond pulsars. 23 millisecond pulsars are there. And we've recorded 16 of them. And right now tonight, while we're sitting in this room, the 16 recorded millisecond pulsars and 47 tuck are making this sound right now. beautiful who knew you know god has his own string section and so the the whale songs could sound like this right here take a listen tonight. That's, that's, what, that's what's happening in all creation. And I don't think we have a clue because we don't know the expanse of the worship that is continually surrounding the throne of God. And our songs are great, but God isn't banking on our songs because he is surrounded by a symphony that's bigger than our wildest dreams tonight. Stars sing and whales sing and the birds fly. And I just tried to imagine what would it sound like if you could just for a second be God and hear what he hears. 
years. And I can't get us there tonight, but I, I came close. I had a friend who helped me with this little iPad program, and, and I'm not a DJ, but I, I just a little thing, just quickly, and I, I want you to see how this works. I, I brought this guy in. Um, he's um, not somebody that we had uh, going already, but um, I brought one guy in. He, he should, you should be hearing him by now. I don't know. Are we, are we on? Yeah, if we could get just a little more volume, that'd be great. Thank you very much. This even a little more volume would be fantastic. Thank you. I'm kind of maxed out here. There we go. This guy, we didn't look at his picture. He's PSR B0329-54. And he's only rotating one and a half times per second, which is not all that much, but we need him in our little experiment we're going to do here, okay? Um, and then we had the Vela Pulsar. You remember the Vela Pulsar, right? So that's that guy. But that's a little too fast for what we're trying to do, so we're going to slow that down, okay? Now this is unedited. It's just two pulsars slowed down and put in sync with each other. It's not a real groovy crowd, I know, but I, I know where I am, but it's kind of groovy if you hear it. And some of you want to nod a little bit, but you don't know if that's allowed at a reform meeting, and so um, you just do as the spirit leads. But isn't that cool? That's just two pulsars. And so we're going to put the, uh, the millisecond guys in there, the ones you just heard. Here they come. undoctored and unedited. Here they come. Some people need it really clear. Like, what are they singing? know you're like whoa what the point is simply this that God is a God who doesn't need anything and he honestly doesn't need any of us he doesn't need a band he doesn't need a song he's got a universe singing to him he's got a symphony of praise going on and if you just think about it every time a, a rose blooms and the pod pops it pops and I've never heard a pod pop before but I don't know what it sounds like when billions of them do it every day. Or every bird's wings that flaps through the sky, every ocean wave that crashes on a rocky shore, every snowflake that flitters its way down and, and lands softly and maybe even imperceptibly perceptively to you or me on, on a snowy ground lightning and the wind that blows through the trees, but everything when a baby cries or a human being laughs, it's all of God's creation praising Him.